America's income inequality was rising long before the economy took a nosedive and the Occupy movement got started. All of this simply raised awareness to America's 1% accumulating disproportionate wealth. Hey, Wall Street! Meet Main Street! We're taking our country back! Add to that a continuing trend of banking and industrial deregulation and union busting. Now you have an economy that's tipped against most workers and the middle class. Economists call this an imbalance of stakeholder-shareholder interests. Stakeholders comprise a wide range of people, from workers to customers to a community and the Main Street merchants where a company does business. Shareholders are the company's owners. They range from people and investment funds owning stock to lenders and other creditors. It's easy to say conflicts between stakeholders and shareholders are what led to our current situation. Actions, like taking a short-term profit instead of investing in communities, workers, and long-term projects that would build the company. That's the straightforward part. Here's where it gets complex and what makes it tough for an average person to influence corporate policy. Conflicts also arise among stakeholders, such as local governments that need tax revenue to repave Main Street, versus merchant groups advocating no new tax policy. On the other hand, shareholder conflicts can involve a CEO paid a performance bonus based on this year's profits, versus a mutual fund interested in long-term company growth. Even some employees have dual interests. For instance, do they weigh short-term salary and benefits versus a stronger pension funded by long-term company growth? Individually, there's not much any of us can do to influence how companies behave and how they are managed and run. But working with other stakeholder groups, we can influence corporate social responsibility. This is important, as we know from Minnesota history. When stakeholder interests and shareholder interests are aligned, that usually leads to prosperity and quality of life for all of us.